Okay, I think the rain has stopped. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's been a lot that's happened in the past week since I've actually been able to, to film and everything. And I'll get onto that in the video and also uh, get some stuff. Uh, I also will need to talk about some stuff uh, for some things that have happened. This is pretty much just a chaotic thoughts rule all sort of thing, so just 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 be prepared. This is Kathy Crowling's author here at the Magic Library, and if you're wondering why I'm off center, it is because I cannot use my usual position for my tripod. <laughs> So, before I start anything, I have some news. Yesterday, upon looking at the status of my book's upload to the app We Ink, um, it's official. It's up there on We Ink for everybody to read, um, free of charge, and it is also the full manuscript. We Ink is an app that basically, it's, a, it's an app and it's a website that's made by writers, for writers, um, specifically indie writers and aspiring writers to uh, basically uh, get their name out on a platform and basically helps them to gain an audience. But they don't necessarily do it for free. Um, by reading and showing support for different stories and everything, you are able to earn beans, and these beans can be used to basically buy and can basically be used to pay the authors. This is basically like Wattpad if Wattpad was a little bit more lucrative about what the stuff about the stuff that they put up on their site and everything, and also if we actually got paid. Um, no matter what, no matter what the popularity of our story. So there's that. Arborea Lux is available on Wheat Inc. I'm going to wait until later on in the year to put out Sarah from Awakening. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and also, um, if you do want to support the channel and everything, um, my books are actually available on Amazon so you can go down and check those out themselves. Something of which I forgot to give my new manager last night. And speaking of new managers, it is someone that we actually wanted. So according to my last video and everything, I talked about uh, taking things in stride and doing it uh, not only as a writer, but also doing it in life in general, not to worry about the small stuff. So. Uh, admittedly, I did not follow this advice very well. Um, I was stressing out about it. I was even to one point, at one point, looking for another job. I still am technically. Um, I'm, I'm looking for at-home jobs just so that I can write more. Um, but that's more going to be a side gig and everything. And I'm actually using Upwork for to find commission work like that. So there's there's that. Uh, but. Uh, I am officially going to be a key holder sometime next week, I think. Um, but uh, I got to work with a manager, with a new manager um, on Monday and Tuesday. Um, he actually stayed yesterday and helped us put out coal truck and everything, and I was so very grateful um, for that. So there's there's that. Um, and he's, he's a really nice guy and everything, so I, I have nothing to worry about except for the fact that he thinks that the way we do closing procedures is wrong and I'm going to end up having to learn everything um, basically again. And I don't do well with learning things, with learning a new way to do things when I'm already training to do one thing a specific way so there's <laughs> there's that but no it's it's gonna be uh, it's it's gonna be an, an interesting time and everything um, I will primarily be on night shifts so hey um, and I do believe this comes with a pay raise I'm not sure um, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not wanting to really ask in case that makes me seem, you know, callous or anything, but, you know, there's, there's, there's that. Um, but, uh, 
there's that update for my job situation. Um, I'm still going to be at my job. Uh, I have decided that um, I'm still going to go about my plan to put money aside for the next convention that I'm going to and for uh, one part of it, another part for savings and another part for um, uh, the move that I'm going to be doing hopefully sometime this year. So yeah, there's, there's, there's also that part of the news. Um, one of my friends, uh, one of my friends that I go to conventions with, um, she and I are probably going to be moving in together. Um, and I'll, I'll probably have her up on, uh, uh, up on some videos too. Had I thought about it and everything, I would have, uh, been able, I would have done it at, uh, the convention that we were just at, but we were either so busy or so tired that we didn't want to do anything. So it was... It was a very unique time this past time around, but you, if you want anything about that, you can go to the other video uh, that I made about three weeks ago, and you can do that. Also, um, because of last week and me uh, working so much, um, I was not able to do any recording for the new episode of Cafe Pantheon. In fact, I'm actually behind on Cafe Pantheon in terms of writing. I am right now writing on the uh, newest arc, and I am having a hard time figuring out, trying, trying to figure out where to go, where to go with it. Um, but it is a it is a technical, logical step in terms of storyline and everything. But uh, I, I, it is going to be interesting in how and to see where Rosalie's journey goes. Um, I do technically have the next, uh, the last bit of her task as intermediary done. Um, the, la the last part, the fourth part, um, should hopefully be up. Uh, hopefully on Saturday. I'm not sure. I was going to record. Um, the week uh, during the weekend, but we were. But I was either writing, I was either being called into work, or I was busy with family. So there was there was that. It, it has been a very hectic week. <laughs> but I am planning on doing the recording tomorrow at the uh, at the earliest, so I can go ahead and get that out of the way and get that ready for this week. And then I may end up taking a hiatus on on the podcast and everything, just to make sure that I have everything done out, everything done and right. The reason I'm taking a hiatus is not only because I am running behind on writing and everything, but I am also uh, making very a lot, very much headway in Seraphim Bloodlines. Um, so I will probably be getting that out. I, it, it's still going to be coming out in October. Don't worry. Um, but I am probably going to be getting done with the written part of the manuscript sometime in the next month, and then I'm going to transcribe the entire thing while I'm writing uh, Requiem, and then uh, just as things go on and everything, it's going to be, uh, it's, uh, and, and I've also started writing um, or rewriting a story that I wrote while I was in college. Um, which is called Tertrova, but uh, um, but I'm I'm still tinkering with with that a little bit. Um, uh, I'm gonna try to base it more on Celtic mythology than just it being a normal isekai story. Um, and I'm also doing a science fiction story, which is a little bit more recent on my list. Uh, I actually need to get through um, my horror story, but there's there's. All right, so let me see. I've talked about we. I have talked about my books being available. I have talked about the situation going on at work. I've talked about the podcast. Yeah, I think that's everything. I probably will not be getting a lot of views for this one specifically. Um, but, oh, I am going to be uh, doing something new with uh, the otaku section. I have not posted a lot on the otaku section specifically because um, for the longest amount of time I actually was not watching anime as I was uh, writing and reading. So, but I am slowly getting back into anime and everything. Um, I'm right now watching the Apothecary Diaries, I'm watching uh, 
uh, I'm luck I'm dead I'm <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm watching a, I'm watching a good amount of, uh, I'm watching Bushigiri, which is a show that I did not realize that I would like as much as I did. Um, and I'm also watching some classics like, uh, I w just got done watching some classics like, uh, Code Geass and stuff like that. Um, uh, recently I'm almost done with Iron-Blooded Orphans, Mobile, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans, and all, all that and everything, so there's... Yeah, there's that, um, but uh, episodes about that um, and reviews for that will be going up on the otaku section. I won't necessarily say soon, but I will say that it is, uh, it, it will be particularly interesting. For those of you who know me personally, you know that I love listening to uh, sort of uh, Talk fast, talk fast, uh, satirical videos that are like uh, that uh, talk about the story, but sort of talk about the story that's like in a sort of critical way. Um, you know, like total punctuation, um, R.I.P. Uh, Yahtzee from the uh, the escape the escapist. He left the escapist, and now he is part of. Uh, um, Second Wing and Second Wing. I've not really, I'm not fully watched fully Ramblematic, um, but I, I do like his style of videos and everything. And he was sort of the inspiration for this. He and Joe Cat, um, Joe Cat doing his videos about uh, crap guide to crap guide to D and D and crap guide to uh, Monster Hunter. Um, so I'm sort of doing something similar to that. I'm doing something that will basically do my. Uh, artist skills justice, but I'm also going to be talking about. Uh, I'm, this is this is basically a combination of my fangirling of certain of certain things, or my bashing of certain things having to do with anime, and uh, and uh, my artist skills. I actually already have an avatar somewhat drawn. I've got to uh, get her rendered in. Um, so that I can, I've got to get her rendered in so that I can make uh, PNGs and then I can uh, just like do videos like that. Um, it's it's going to be particularly interesting because uh, this will be my first time, you know, like matching uh, dialogue to, uh, matching dialogue to um, facial expressions. So that's, that's going to be particularly interesting. I'm slowly but surely becoming a film student. Um, that's not actually paying to be a film student, um, but uh, it's it is it is particularly interesting, and I hope you actually and I hope you guys like the character um, when she comes out. Um, I'm go I'm simply going to be going calling her Crow, um, and she sort of does look like a crow. Um, her the only thing I can say about her is that her hair um, looks like um, she has uh, hair that looks like feathers. Um, and she's got long hair too that looks like feathers. Um, but I have not decided on what her hair color is going to be. I've not decided on. Uh, uh, I'm not. I, I've, that's the only thing I've not really decided on. I've decided that she is going to be Irish pale. Um, <laughs> you know, like me, because um, I, I, I am. I, I am very, very pale. I, I, I am like. I, I am like. I'm. 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 I, I'm as white as a sheet of copy paper. Um, but. Uh, uh, it's it's gonna be fun and everything, and I hope you guys will enjoy um, what I what I do with the character and everything. Um, but uh, I got the idea for doing that, and I sort of want to get into VTubing as well, um, using Crow as a model and everything. But um, that'll have to come later when I actually have the money to commission stuff like that and do that. Um, but it will be interesting, and I hope that you guys will continue to be along with the journey. Oh, um, before I forget, um, because Bloodlines is almost out, I am starting the call for beta readers now. Um, I am going to, uh, be doing chapters and everything. Um, I'm going to be doing them on Google Docs. I'm going to, I'm going to be doing separate chapters through on Google Docs. Um, and basically posting those links to um, to the Discord server and to the writers group and everything. So on um, Facebook. So if you're not a part of those, please go down to the description below um, to the Discord server link and to 
the link for the um, Readers and Writers group on Facebook. Um, uh, and if you're not, and if you don't have either of those, don't worry about it. Just uh, leave your name, uh, leave your username in the comments and everything, and we'll try to come up with something. Um, if you're on Discord, um, leave your Discord name and everything, and I will send you a friend request, and we can talk through DMs um, to uh, to discuss uh, basically what's going on and everything. Um, but I hope you guys will enjoy the story and everything. I will say this: there, are this. Okay, so um, if you've seen this cover, <laughs> if you've seen this image before that I've usually posted on social media and everything, you will notice that the middle cover is the cover for Seraphim Bloodlines, and Seraphim Bloodlines is horrific, is darker consider can compared to um, Seraphim. Uh, Awakening and Sarah from Requiem. Uh, the reason for that uh, is is particularly because it is dark. It is exceptionally dark. Um, the I, I did not realize that this story until I was rewriting it and everything that it was going to be darker than um, the first story. I mean, like the first. I mean, like the first book alludes to certain stuff, alludes to certain things that could be triggering, but um, instead of alluding to it in Bloodlines, it's strictly, you know, it, it, it gets dark. So don't worry, I will be putting a trigger warning, a, a trigger and content warning page up uh, when I do get uh, the book published and everything. I feel like I have to for this. Because this, and the thing about it is, is that I, I tell people that I like to do stuff like, I like to make stuff immersive and uh, and I feel like uh, adding a bit of the real world into fantasy is how to do that and unfortunately I went a little bit too hard in the real life portion um, when scooping that into the story and just mixing it in because um, unfortunately not in the most fantastical of ways but some of these things that we talk about that is talked about in bloodlines actually does happen um, you know, uh, plotting and uh, plotting um, nefarious schemes, mental manipulation, um, uh, uh, and stuff like that, and everything. Um, give it and like it, this will be exceptionally triggering for some people, especially some people with mental issues, because we see sort of the mental side of Zyla and what she goes through. Um, we see her. Uh, we see some of the abuse that she, we see a little bit of the abuse that she had gone through as a child sort of resurface. Um, and I'm not talking about abuse like bruises and everything. We're talking about mental bruises. And mental bruises honestly take a lot more time to heal. For anyone who has mental health issues, you definitely know what I mean. Um, but uh, this is... This, this is going to be a very dark story, and it's basically, it's, it's basically, if, if you're a practitioner at all of, uh, of, um, of any sort of any religion that is not, uh, that is not Christian in nature, then you know about shadow work, and you know that this is basic, that, um, that shadow work tends to delve into the deepest issues of yourself. So this is primarily going to be an entire shadow work story. Um, and I, and the thing about it is, is that I actually made the covers, um, I made the covers, like, before I finished book one, um, and I didn't realize that I would, that writing, that writing everything in a cohesive storyline and then writing, and then rewriting it again, I didn't realize how dark it would be, um, and... Uh, I'm almost done with Bloodlines now, and I know for a fact that right now it is going to be exceptionally dark. <laughs> so, if you are interested in being a beta reader, please, 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 for the love of God or whatever deity that you decide to follow and whatever creed you follow, and whatever creed you follow, read at your own risk when it comes to Sarah from Bloodlines. Um, I'm st I am, I will be thrilled if you will be if you will be a beta reader. Um, I will provide content warnings um, depending on the chapters and everything, but please, please, please be careful um, when when reading this. I, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm saying like don't run, don't try this at home when it, and essentially it is. Um, but it's I, I want all my readers to be safe. I want them all to enjoy the story. I don't want them to be triggered. So please um, 
Be, so please, uh, as beta readers, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say be gentle with me. Um, tell me if there are some things that are too dark that I need to dial back, some things that I need to, or, or if there are some things I need to um, do in ways that are more, uh, that I need to draw more attention to, um, to really get the word out about some of these things that actually do happen. Um, but I, uh, I am looking forward to seeing everybody's, uh, comments about these. Um, just, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you guys do want to be beta readers, please go down to the comments and leave your, uh, Discord name and we will chat that way. And I do believe that is everything. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video, for um, basically enduring me uh, do all of these updates and everything on all these talks. Um, and uh, thank you so much for your continued support. If you want to see more videos like this or more videos on my channel about like a uh, podcast uh, or uh, me doing book reviews, please, please, please uh, go and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and also ring that bell for more notifications. Just because uh, uh, you know that I'm sort of sporadic in how I in how I do my videos right now. <laughs> Also, please, um, in the comments, if you're interested, in, again, if, you, in, if you're interested in being a beta reader, um, go down to the comments below and leave your Discord name or just express an interest. And I will put up a uh, post on the community tab for the uh, Discord server and for the um, uh, readers and writers group that I have on Facebook. And you can, um, and you can basically go through that way. If you want to support the channel by uh, by other means than doing that, even though it's very very and that's like tier one, very very simple, you can also uh, support me by buying my books on Amazon and also going to my merch store um, on Printify. Um, the link down in the description below to buy some merch and also to buy the books themselves. Um, all the designs on Printify I actually drew myself, so uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what people like. Uh, my friend Angie, who uh, lives uh, on the Alabama Mississippi state line, basically, um, she uh, has a Luxalia shirt, and I'm so glad she likes it and everything. Uh, she, she's, a, she, she's a trooper. Uh, I, I love her so much. Um, and also, my mom actually has a yuck shirt um, that I bought that I uh, bought for her for Mother's Day last year um, because I or for uh, not necessarily Mother's Day. I think it was an early Christmas present. Yeah, it was an early Christmas present because uh, it was. Uh, uh, I, I knew that she would particularly like that. Um, <laughs> Uh, because that was uh, something that she said a lot during the Michigan migration trip. If you've not watched any of the Michigan migration videos, please uh, go to my please go to my uh, channel and actually look up and look at the playlists and everything. Uh, I have a number of playlists. Um, each of them are uh, each of them uh, are uh, like I have podcast one. I have uh, I have uh, Coco with the Crow. I have. Uh, um, the Crow has a writing desk, and I've also got um, the Michigan Migration, um, which is, I love that. I, I particularly loved those and everything because it was um, going into my dad's past and everything, um, uh, what he went through uh, living in, up in uh, Michigan and everything, and it was, it was a very fun time. Um, also down in the description below, I have links to all of my socials for you guys to keep up to date on uh, what's going on. Um, I have Facebook, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, and I have TikTok. I need to get more on TikTok. I'm thinking about actually just like doing like um, a, a writing journey series on TikTok, um, just doing it that way. I need to actually do snippets of, uh, I need to actually do snippets of the podcast and everything on there too to get more traction um which i think should be okay um i think i i think it should be okay um but it's i'm looking forward to it it's going to be an amazing journey and i am slowly but surely expanding my expanding my feelers out for uh stuff that i can do 
Um, I mentioned something about a convention earlier. I will be in Iron City. I will be at the Iron City uh, convention in June, June 1st and 2nd. Um, I will also be cosplaying. Uh, I primarily, th I primarily think I'll be cosplaying as Zyla this time around, um, which means I've got to get myself a white wig. Um, I've got to get a white wig and specifically uh, do like tinges of black, uh, tinges of like black powder on the ends of it. Um, specifically because that's how I'm going to be portraying her. Um, I'm, I, I want to get like a black wig, but I also want to get a white wig because um, her hair actually does end up going all straight white again. Um, spoiler alert. Um, but uh, I, I want to do that and I want to uh, sort of, uh, hopefully by then I'll be a little bit more, won't necessarily in shape, but I think I'll be hopefully more uh, financially stable and everything, but uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I, I, I can't wait to go to that convention. It's, it's going to be a very fun time. Uh, so I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys will continue to uh, follow me on my journey as a published author and I hope you guys um, enjoy the content that I give you no matter if it be a paper medium or a video medium or an audio medium, uh, considering my podcast. But uh, I will get more into the podcast in another video, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy um, everything until then. This is Kathy Curling's author here at the Magic Library, and I hope you guys have a very wonderful day. Bye, guys.